Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? A bitch is back. I'm here just to talk to you about some things. Um, I know a lot of us are going through some really difficult times, and I want to talk about that specifically. And the reason why I think a lot of us are not moving forward is because we're not loving ourselves. And I know you guys hear me talk about that a lot. I know you guys hear me talk about love thyself, love and know thyself programs, which is a 12 week program and a 24 week program. And then I have an uh, entrepreneur mastery program for entrepreneurs. Because when I started this work, I started this work just to help people because these were my abilities. But what ended up happening is that I had to when I was helping other people, I was constantly getting depleted. Mind you, that's how I was taught, trained, and conditioned to love other people before I loved myself. That was a cultural thing. And it's still very much part of our cultures, right? And what ended up happening with this process is I ended up going through so much crazy shit because I was doing what I was taught, trained, and conditioned, thinking it's the right thing. And I ended up in so much more heavier shit. Um, I am a master of fear. Um, I know what fear is. I've been paralyzed by it for years. I know what um, being in narcissistic sociopathic relationships, whether that was romantic, family, colleagues, co-workers, business partnerships, etc. I also know what it's like um, dealing with mental health issues. I have never been shy to you guys about what it is I've been through. I have, you know, trigger warning if you have had any... Uh, thoughts of not trying to get out of bed in the morning and I'm not just talking about like because you're tired just because you're done with life I've done that twice um, and all these things but help me get to a space that either I would fight for myself or I would just keep digging a black hole and I kept digging digging my way out of those situations because I had people that counted on me and even though if I chose that path it would be the easy way out for me but it wouldn't be easy for those that I love and so that's what had me fight for myself even harder and through that process of loving myself I got to learn who I really was and basically unplug from the matrix unfuck myself and know who I am and on top of that I am an energy worker right but I know some people call it light worker. I am light and dark. I love the shadow as much as I love the light. I'm sorry. I may be, um, and I may be weird to some of y'all. I'm not that light and love kind of girl. Never have been. Never will. I love light and love. That's the reward. But shadow and pain is a motherfucking thing. All right. Um, that's where you grit. That's where you grow the most. Is in your darkness. You can't. You can't have darkness without light and you can't have light without darkness. So for those of you who are always in being in the love and light, talking about love and light, love and light, love and light. That's great for y'all, but you're going to get tired of saying love and light and not having the backup to go with it. So we do live in a three dimensional world. And this is what also taught me to love myself, which allowed me to excel in my business. So the way you treat yourself is a reflection of the way you treat your business. So I started teaching people how to create their businesses. So I do help people create businesses. I do help people love themselves. I do help people deal with their shadows. I do help people deal with their fear, their anxiety, their stress, their traumas, because I've been through it. I've been sexually assaulted. I've been a victim of rape. I've been a victim of harassment. I've been a victim of so many things, um, but it didn't break me because I chose me at the end of the day. Look, you guys heard me talk about this before, but mi gente, we are living in really fucking wild, crazy times in this three-dimensional space, but it's got to be about your self-love. You can't help nobody else, not even across the world, if you're not loving yourself and taking care of yourself. What good are you if you're always depleted? You got to love yourself unconditionally before you spread that love to other people. When you tap into that pure existential love from your divine source whether that's spirit or the universe your whole world will change and this took me four years to get through my thick ass head because i was always afraid i am a fear expert because i was like i said i mentioned it before but i'm telling you this that's what it is that's why i came up with love thyself love and know thyself and the mastery program if you didn't know the soulful mastery entrepreneur program you get love thyself love and know thyself and then and the other six months is all about your business so you get the whole year but i'm just saying it's so much more in depth than i can explain but every day that you're committed to yourself you are connecting to divine consciousness and you're growing and that growth spreads everywhere like wildfire as you grow and connect more with the divine love in you, 
everything will start growing, like I said, but it will grow like wildfire. Like, you know how, have you ever seen those wildfires that go out of control? Sometimes it will go out of control and it will turn your world upside down because you're changing and you're no longer being the same person that you were before. So with that being said, you're going to do 180 degrees, not 360, because when you do 360, you start where you, you go back to where you start. We don't want that. We want 180 degrees. We want a, we want a different angle. You got to pivot. These programs help you flow easily, connected to the universe. So many things will start coming to you, you will doubt everything because it's too good to be true. This program also teaches you how to spot those sneaky parts of your ego and your personality that don't like this tweaking, but it helps you adjust and you can shift a lot more smoothly than aggressively. When you see those parts of you, bless yourself because that side also needs some blessing and some growth as well. But what I've noticed with the program, a lot of people beat themselves up like, I should have known this. I saw this. I knew this. Just because you knew it, just because you saw it, doesn't mean you know how to integrate it. If self-criticism would make us perfect, we'd all be flawless by now. I'm just saying. But a lot of us are our own worst enemies. We're all here to learn and grow, so cut yourself some slack. Think of yourself like a diamond. A diamond is a coal. It's in coal first. It's really rough. It's really rugged. It's not even shiny. But you got to love those rough parts of yourself too. Don't hate the rough form. Love the journey. It's all about having the right tools and giving yourself some tender loving care. Even if you don't know what that looks like. You might think you know, but you really don't know. Because again, are those thoughts really yours? Or are those the thoughts that you've been imprinted with? You know, as humans, we're imprinted just like animals are. From zero to seven years old, we are imprinted with the family, the environment, the community, the tribe, the organization that we were raised with those are our what we call fact what i call factory settings think about it when you get a phone it's already downloaded with specific apps when you get any new smartphones same thing with us and some of those apps some of those behaviors some of those conditions some of that training doesn't suit us so we need to unplug and get to know who we are be kind to yourself because if you're not willing to change, then how do you expect anybody else around you to change? You might be the reason why certain people are not changing. Believe it or not, I realized that I was the reason why my children were changing. They were mimicking me. I realized that my husband, my, uh, my husband who's amazing, um, didn't know a lot about spirituality. Now, that's a different story. He got faith. I'm like, he got heavy faith. He may not talk about it in public, but you don't understand. This man believes in a higher power, and I'm grateful for that. Because I taught him how to love himself first. He comes first, then he says, I'm next. Then it's our kids, because our kids are going to grow up. We have four adults now, believe it or not. And we have one teen left. But they're going to grow up, and they're going to leave. And we're going to still be together. Because we're best friends first. And that's another thing. How do, you expect, how do you expect to attract the right partner if you're not loving yourself at full capacity? How can you move forward if you're still holding on to things from the past? So if you're struggling from relationships from the past, past trauma, if you're struggling with how to take care of yourself and nourish yourself, if you're struggling with fear, if you're struggling with anxiety, if you're struggling with stress and you're letting it overwhelm you, then I'm your girl. I've been doing this for over 35 years. I've been reading professionally since I was the age of 14 under the guidance and tutelage of my grandmother. Uh, now I have elders and now I specialize in specific traditions. I specialize in European traditions, just, I, just like I specialize in indigenous and African traditions that are all part of my bloodline. I, ex I accept all of me. My whole squad, all my ancestors, they all get along. They're not one against the other because I learned how to love myself and without them, I wouldn't be here. Regardless of how history played itself out, I would not be here. And again, as I said in the beginning, I did some really crazy shit, tried to numb myself and get rid of the pain that I was carrying instead of dealing with it. So I became someone that I needed because there is no program like that out here, like the one I have. There isn't one. There isn't one. There isn't one. I promise you there isn't one. There isn't a love thyself. There isn't a love and know thyself. And there isn't a soulful mastery entrepreneurial program. So if you guys are interested and you can check my website, you can check my testimonials. If you go to Instagram, you can see my highlights of all my testimonials of my products and my services. And if you 
have ever experienced any good stuff with any of my services, any of my products, please leave a comment below because I would love to add your testimonial to my list. And I'm not saying this to brag. I'm not being cocky. I'm being confident because I'm here to help people. I'm not here to make money. I'll do a payment plan for you, but sign up for the waiting list because you'll get a discount code if you do. Bye.